everybody, welcome back to another Featured Friday here at Let's Go Geo. Every Friday I show some interesting specimen or feature in the field and I let you guys take a fun guess at it in the comments before I reveal what it is. And some of them might be easy, some of them harder, I'm not sure, but this is today's challenge. So, you might have come across a rock like this in the field, and it looks like a regular old boring rock from this perspective, if you look pretty closely. That would just be, but then you turn it and you say, whoa, what is going on here? This one's sort of really rounded shaped and dark. That's interesting. This one's even inset a bit. Pretty inset, actually. I'll use my finger to show you. That goes in there quite a bit. Like I can put some paint in there and make a little design. It's like a little dish. So what the heck is going on? Here's some close-ups. So again, how this goes, you take a look and you try to guess. Um, so what do you think's going on? Are you familiar with this? Do you know what it is? If not, what's your best guess if you found this in the field? What would you think it is? Or if you want to, you can even make some uh, uh, funny, humorous attempts at what these things are. Now, it is definitely a rock. There's nothing uh, funny going on here. If you look closely, you might be able to tell what kind of rock it is. It can be difficult. Um, even a hand sample in the field can be difficult to properly identify stuff. Uh, but on a video, it's even harder because you can't really get the, the feel and the, the visual as you would if you found it, but that should be a little bit of a giveaway there. <clears throat> I also have something else to show that's uh, associated with this. So today we'll have two pieces. How about this guy? This, uh, you might notice it looks kind of similar to these guys, but look at that. It's very rounded. So you, if you found something, if you found a, a rock or maybe you didn't know it was a rock yet, if you found a, a thing, in the field and it looked like this. It's not perfectly round, but it's pretty, pretty rounded, pretty, almost smooth, um, little oval, ovoid shape there. And on the inside, it looks like that. It's, it has some concentric rings going on. Um, you might infer from looking at it that it was once an entirely round object with the second half being there, but it was broken. So I'll leave that open to interpretation, but if I combine this thing with these things, what do we have here? Because they are related. So, oh, that guy fell down. So yeah, so what is going on here? Let me give you the, the rounds again. Pretty cool features. They are fairly common. I can say that, that if you want to go looking for these features, you can find them um, with some pretty basic rock hounding know-how. And I'll tell you where in a second here. Okay, make sure you have your guess in the comments before I reveal, and now I will talk about what we have, what's going on here. So, if you find something like this, what you'll notice here is that a lot of pieces, if you look at them like this, kind of the boring part of the background, part of the rock, it's sandstones. And this is pretty common, so if you want to be in a region where you can find a lot of sandstone, and there would be an iron source in this sandstone. These are what are referred to as simply concretions, or better said, iron concretions. So this uh, accumulates around the nucleus, and then, yeah, it's there's this iron-rich material, and as it accumulates around there, we get these circular-like objects. This one was probably a rounded piece like this, so this one was probably in there. But what you're seeing is kind of this side, it broke off. So um, if we wanted to extract it out of there, that's what we would have is this bottom half of the entire sphere there. Um, so this is the same thing. So you can find them broken out, in which case you would find, yeah, either like the half sphere or the whole sphere. You can find them. I really like this one. I like um, being able to break them open or see them broken open and, and see this inside pattern. It's very interesting, but it's also pretty cool to find, you know, an, a, like a circular rock. I have a few um, 
and I find them fascinating. And some people call them Moki marbles too, so you might have referred to uh, concretions as Moki marbles. Uh, but yeah, they're they're just iron concretions, um, and I, I say just, but I, I don't I don't mean they're not cool. Um, yeah, so if you want to find stuff like this, your best bet is to look in places. First off, you're looking in sedimentary rocks. You, uh, when there's a lot of sandstone present, that's a good start. But it is certain types of sandstones, not in all sandstones. Um, I've had very good luck in the sandstones in places like Utah. So if you, want to, if you, if you find yourself there, um, target some of those and you might just find yourself a really cool round rock. Maybe you can even trick some people um, into, into what they think it is. Um, maybe they won't even know it's a rock. But that is our featured Friday for today. Um, like I mentioned, oops, I dropped it. Like I mentioned, every Friday, I will do a featured item, a featured rock, mineral, crystal, um, or sometimes just things in the field. Um, you know, larger features, formations, things like that. I'll, I'll, I'll show you a feature and you can guess it. And that'll be every Friday. Um, otherwise I'll be doing full length explanations on a lot of these things I talk about here in the featured Fridays as well. So if you want to learn more about sedimentary rocks, sandstones, concretions, and lots of other topics in geology, sub here to Let's Go Geo, and I will see you on the next Geo Adventure.